and welcome back to my book corner for another story time with me Rockin' Ryan and today we have got a story and it is all about poo because little did I know that my story there's a poo at the zoo is one of the most popular stories that I have read and apparently some of you had a very good giggle over all the times I said the word poo and this story I'm going to say poo an awful lot more poo 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 are you ready? Title on those listening ears, click. Get nice and comfortable because today's story is called Poo, is that you Bertie? And it is written by David Roberts. Are you ready? Here we go. You have been warned. This is Bertie. He likes making smells. At the dentist, Bertie let off a little poot. It ponged. Poo! Is that you, Bertie? Well, that's not polite, sniffed Mum. Bertie let off a big pop in the arts gallery and giggled. Mm, no one else did. It ponged. Poo! Is that you, Bertie? Oh, I've never been so embarrassed sniffed dad at the cafe Bertie let off a smelly boff it ponged worse than a bad egg oh poo is that you Bertie oh it's not nice to break wind in the cafe not when people are eating sniffed granny Bertie let rip a tremendous trump in big sister Susie's playhouse it ponged and Susie was livid. Poo! Is that you, Bertie? Oh, you stink, smelly pants! Sniffed Susie. Oh, it's not fair, thought Bertie. Well, I'm not the only one who stinks. Well, when Mum lets off a poot, she coughs at the same time to cover it up. And when Dad lets one off, he's so sneaky... You don't know that's coming until it hits you. Grand's always letting rip. She just blames the cat. Susie claims that she never trumps, but she sounds like a brass band when she thinks that no one's listening. <laughs> Lots of pumping. And when the dog boffs, he woffs it about. Ugh. So there, everybody does it, but I do it the best, especially in the bath. Right. I hope you don't trump when you're having a bath. That would be a very, very smelly bath indeed. Now, we heard a lot about trumps and plops and trumpet trousers. And lots of different smelly smells. So I think that after three, we should make our very own trumping sound. So after three, as loud as you can, I want you to let out a great big... <laughs> but not from your bottom, from your mouth. So are you ready? After three, a big... <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three... <laughs> no, that was not loud enough. I want to be able to hear you from my book corner, so even louder, super duper loud. Are you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Ugh, that sounded disgusting. Oh my goodness gracious me. That was a good story. And you'll be glad to know that even though we only have seven days left, I've still got another poo story coming up as well. But that's going to be happening a little bit later on in the week. Now, Getting away from the poo subject, I would like to say a humongous thank you to all of you who so far have sent me some amazing pictures because you'll remember a couple of days ago I said I was having a very special competition and in the competition I wanted you to draw a picture of me reading your favourite storybook in my book corner or you can draw a picture of Mag and the Dragon or you can draw a picture of both of us. I've had some really, really awesome pictures so far. But don't worry, you've still got five more days to do it. 
So all you've got to do is do a picture, a painting, on the computer, on paper, wherever you want to do it. Get mummy and daddy to send it over to me on Facebook or on my WhatsApp and I will be choosing one winner for a very, very special prize. So you have got five days to get busy. And can I just say, what I've seen so far, there is some very, very stiff competition. But for now, I think it's time we stop talking about drawing, stop talking about poo pants, and it's time to have a nice little snooze. So let's all close our eyes nice and tight. No snoring. And I will see you back here tomorrow for Friday Story in my book corner with me, Rockin' Ryan. But for now, bye bye, and I will see you next time. Thank you.